this is how we can create a uh, get API. Now let's create post API and uh, post API won't uh, return this uh, list. Instead of list, let's say it should return string. And we need to go to service and instead, uh, and here we need to put it uh, string. And uh, then this function will call repository. And uh, over there we need to call save. But uh, uh, this is post API, so we need to take uh, data from uh, request, right? So here, let me use our uh, request body. And this will become as an employee. I'm giving name EMP. Let's pass this EMP uh, object to here. And uh, here also, we need to take employee. And this save function will take this as argument. Okay, so uh, this function is uh, th this function doesn't exist right now. So let me create this, and here we need to write our code for this. Okay, so now we need to write our code, and uh, as I mentioned previously, that we need a few things. We need client, we need database, and we need collection. So let me just copy from here and paste it here. So here first let's uh, create our document object like previously we created okay document and put the emp1 equals new document okay and uh, inside this emp1 I need to put uh, append then first name and this first name will come from emp dot get first name right like this so let me just copy this because we're gonna use this three times one for first name then we have last name and address and here we need get uh, last name and here get address so now we need to call insert one function as uh, we already called this previously in our runner thing insert you can uh, insert whole uh, bunch of uh, employees if you want you can use this insert many for that but let's use for now this insert one and here we need to pass this emp1 but if you put cursor here you can see here this function will throw some exceptions if you want so uh, this is actually void function it won't return anything any response from the database that this particular object is successfully stored or not but you can use these exceptions to make your own output. So what I'm going to do is I can do something like try and I can put this uh, code inside this try block and I can catch that uh, exception. Meaning if this line of code will generate some uh, exception, then we need to uh, change the output. Okay. So I'm not putting anything specific exception for now. I'm just putting a general exception. Any exception will be there. It will, uh, uh, generate this output so let me create a string response here string response and we need to return this right and inside this functions we can create this response equals and uh, same here if uh, anything goes wrong then we need to print something like Okay, and uh, Control Shift F to rearrange the code. So uh, let me restart this application. No error. I am going in my Postman, and if I hit this Get API, right now we have only one entry. So I am copying this API, pasting here, and this is Post API. And inside body I need to go raw then JSON and here I need to put so uh, what I'm gonna do is let me copy this thing paste it here and we don't need this ID for now because ID will generate it by Mongo automatic and instead of bad I, I want Superman and Superman is from planet Krypton okay so if I hit send you can see here it is saying successfully added. So if I go in get, I refresh this, you can see we have two employees right now. Okay, and uh, let's move ahead and let's create our put API. So now this is our put and this will also instead of list, it will return string, but it will take uh, input from this request and input will come in the form of this employee. So let me just copy this 
paste it here and this EMP will go as an argument here and in our employee service we need to edit this this list instead of list we need to do string and then same way it will call repository with update function update. and this update will uh, this update function will take employee and pass that employee to this update so this function doesn't exist for now so let me create this function create and here we need to write code so what i'm going to do is let me just copy this whole function because most of the code going to be same i'm pasting it here and here we need to change few things so uh, here these three things we need it is a client database and collection again and we are creating an object that we need to update okay and this string response will be same because whatever we're gonna do is not gonna uh, uh, respond anything okay so uh, now uh, one thing we need to create is something called basic db object so if you write basic then db you will see something like this and this object we need to put all the conditions so i uh, Condition as in uh, we need to filter from all the uh, elements which is present currently in Mongo. So basically we are telling uh, Mongo to choose one element out of uh, all the elements and we need to update that particular element. So here we need to pass something uh, unique right and we know that unique is our ID. So here we need to create basic object with our uh, what we call a unique thing which is an id so i'm giving underscore id name because by default in mongo uh, the name of the primary key is underscore id so we need to pass that id as a object of id right it is not a plain string so it is coming as a string from the request so we need to convert that string into object id so that's why new and we need to do something like object id And here we need to pass that uh, so emp dot get id so uh, our filter is ready and instead of this insert one we need to use our update function so if you go here do dot and you can see in update you we have many options we have find one and update find one and update many then we have update many and we have update one so right now we need to use this update one and you can see here this function is taking two argument one is filter and second one is the actual object actual fields that we need to change so let me do this update then filter and here we need to pass a basic object and inside this we need to fire something like this so we are setting up uh, with the new parameters right so emp1 something like this so basically we are telling our collection to update update some documents and which document is selected by this filter and what we need to change is done by this set query let me restart this application and if i go to my postman and if i hit this get api i can see i have only one employee right now i am going in post i'm adding one more the superman and if i do refresh here i can see i have Two employees and let's say instead of this planet krypton i want planet i need to update this so let me copy this api because it is same and i'm creating here new tab then this api type is put and then i need to copy this and body then row and here we need to do json and i'm pasting it here so every time we we try to update something we need something unique so this id will provide that uniqueness with this element and instead of this planet krypton we just need to pass simple krypton and if i hit send you can see here it is saying successfully added and here if i refresh this you can see instead of planet krypton we have krypton so it's pretty straightforward same as we did last time but uh, this is how we can do with mongo so let me create our four and fourth and final api which is delete and uh, in this case we need to change few things instead of list it will return string and this function will take argument of a string because this fun uh, we don't need whole object to delete something we just need the id of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use path parameter and this path parameter will be id and here 
it will assign to this id and this will pass to this id okay and i'm going to service and here i need to edit this will return string and this will take string as argument and it will pass to this repository like this okay this function doesn't exist right now so let me go here create and here we need to write our code same like our previous code we need few things so let me just go there copy this and rest of the things i'll delete and uh, here this id is coming we need this uh, client database and collection which is for sure but here we need to change is we don't need to create this object so i'm let me delete this and here we need to pass this will be the same because this is a uniqueness so here instead of employee dot get id i can take this id direct okay and i can instead of this update one i can tell this collection to delete something right so if i go here dot and delete you can see here we have so many options so we have find and delete you can delete more than one elements together but for now we need to use this delete one and here we need to pass the filter so filter is the same one because we need to identify based on the id so let me change this one successfully deleted and here deletion fail okay let me go there control shift f and if i restart this application let me go to postman if i hit this get api you can see we have only one entry let me add one more this is the superman which is successfully added then we have two right now so let me just copy this paste it here then i'm using delete and in parameter i need to pass id right so let me go here just copy this id and paste it here so we don't need superman we hit send it is saying successfully deleted and if i go in my get api if i hit again it is we have only one employee for now so this is how we can create a CRUD operations with embedded MongoDB and Spring Boot application. In upcoming tutorials, we will see advanced topics such as Mongo template and Spring Data Mongo with repository patterns. So this uh, this was embedded uh, Mongo and we will also discuss external Mongo but most of the code will be the same and I'll just focus on how we can uh, switch to another database. And uh, there are few more tutorials coming which is important. So if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please subscribe so you won't miss it. And uh, see you in next tutorial. Till then, like, subscribe and uh, keep learning. Thank you very much.